What a beauty house this is. Great curb appeal on this house. Here we are, new project. We got another three bedroom brick bungalow. This one's built in the 80s. It's a lot cleaner, a lot newer than the last project. So I'm just gonna take you around. We've got a, a living room here, which I don't particularly like the way the living room is set up. Uh, this used, you can tell this used to be open concept into the kitchen over here, but uh, somebody filled this in and put a, a sliding door into the living room. So I don't really like that. Um, I don't think we're gonna mess with that though. I wish it was still open, but it's been closed off. We're just gonna leave it the way it is. We don't want to get involved in uh, too many changes on the main floor because in reality, everything's pretty clean. There's been some uh, laminate click floor installed all pretty much throughout the entire main floor. It's not the best uh, quality of an installation. It's a bit shoddy. Uh, some of the cuts around the uh, base, uh, around the door jams and around the baseboards are a little, uh, a little bit uh, sloppy cuts. But overall, it looks good. It's perfectly acceptable. So we're gonna leave that alone. Uh, one thing we might do is just remove it from the front area and put uh, some either some tile or uh, some sheet vinyl. <clears throat> uh, you'll have to excuse the kitchen. We've got some appliances here from uh, a, another property that we had to get out of there. So they're sitting here. So we've got two fridges, two stoves. But um, if you look, the, the kitchen is in reasonable shape. We've got some old cabinets, but they've been painted. They've got new, new hardware on them. So um, I think we're gonna work with that for now. I don't wanna start uh, ripping out all these cabinets because then we're gonna be replacing and putting in new cabinets. Next thing you know, the kitchen renovation up here is spiraling out of control like it always does. And then we've just inflated our costs. We may install a new countertop though. This one's really ugly and there's a big crack in it here. So we could probably do a few things up here for pretty cheap and uh, we'll have that uh, this place uh, looking good. Uh, again, there's another door. This is to the basement so and there's a side entrance. So we'll have to replace this door with a fire door if we want this to be a legal apartment. Now again, we're going to be adding laundry on this floor because we like to have laundry on both floors so that uh, the laundry is not shared so the people living on the main floor don't have to go into the basement just to use the laundry So we may use this linen closet to add laundry and uh, just sort of downsize the list in linen closet because It's actually quite wide for just towels at this point uh, The bathroom has click floor on the floor. It's already separating uh, So we're gonna remove the click floor out of here probably put a new top on the vanity and maybe a new light fixture. I don't think we're gonna get into retiling the shower at this point. Um, it will need to be retiled at some point. It's really dated and it's probably not waterproofed with the proper Curdy products. But uh, again, I don't wanna let this renovation spiral out of control. I wanna keep costs down and I wanna get this place rented out and onto the next project as fast as possible. That's, that's the key here is we wanna keep accumulating properties. So if I spend too much time and too much money on each project making sure everything's just perfect then i'm not moving on to the next project i'm not accumulating as many properties in a short amount of time so it's actually costing me money we can still accumulate properties and renovate them fully but we just don't need to do the extreme re uh, renovations all up front we can do the basics get everything legal get all the finishes in the basement done and then if the main floor needs work uh, we'll just sort of uh, do it as it needs to be done over time while it's rented out rather than uh, Doing everything right from the beginning and getting into a, you know 60 or seventy thousand dollar renovation so again bedroom good size bedroom Little closet, you know, this is this is already really good the paint. It looks like everything's been painted another nice bedroom And another decent bedroom. So there's really not too much more I need to show you guys up here, uh, but uh, the, uh, the basement, we're probably going to be doing almost a full gut in the basement. So let's go take a look at that. Here's the furnace room. We got a, a nice large furnace room. I already have laundry utilities here. 
We've got one of the best things about this house is the headroom. We've got eight foot ceilings. Actually, it's, it's about seven foot seven in the basement, but that's really good for a basement apartment. So we're not gonna have any issues with moving ductwork or raising beams or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, again, we have a, a, a fireplace area that's going to have to be uh, removed. Uh, we're going to uh, rip out the ceiling, probably doing a, a, nearly a full gut, but we may leave the exterior walls uh, just to try and keep costs down. And again, we've got this strange layout here where everything's sort of boxed in. We want to open that up so that we can make of it. Uh, again, there was a kitchen over here in this area, which was illegal, so it looks like the city made them take it apart. Uh, we're going to be putting a kitchen back in here doing the two bedroom basement apartment complete but uh, we're gonna have to add an egress window and do a few things to make sure everything's legal so we're probably going to be changing the layout significantly although we will be leaving the bathroom in the location where it currently is so uh, we know the drains are already abs because of the year the house was built so we don't need to worry about too much work replacing sewer mains underground. We will probably have to do a bit of relocating for the drains, but uh, we're not gonna be trenching out the entire basement like we did on the last project. Anyhow, I would love to stay here and play, but uh, I got elsewhere to be. I have other obligations, so Ryan and Adam, and this, this, this <laughs> say hello Ryan, I know, you, I know the, this guy kind of loves being on camera. And Adam, you guys know we're uh, we're gonna let these guys do the demo for today, and I'm I'm out of here. Option A: We had a master bedroom with a double closet, a secondary bedroom with a smaller closet, and we add a window to accommodate that bedroom. Uh, we're gonna rearrange the bathroom to uh, better suit that space, and then we are going to shrink down the furnace room and open up that uh, laundry area to uh, allow room for a kitchen and then we're going to be cutting in an egress window in the living room uh, to brighten up that area and to meet uh, fire safety regulations option b just kidding <laughs>